Simple interest. Simple interest is the charge for borrowing money or the return for lending it. Simple interest is calculated on the initial amount or the principal. To solve simple interest problems, we use this formula. It is the interest, the interest is the principal or the base times the rate, the rate that provide simple interest for rate, the rate for the interest or interest rate, and the time, and time is usually for one year. So time is one year, usually. Let's take a look at the problems that we have here. It says $550 at 6% for three years. So we're looking for the interest on this amount. So the interest, we want to find it is $550 and it is 6%, the rate is 6% and the time is three years. So just remember that 6%, you can write it as point zero point zero six. It is 600 or 6%. Now, for three years, just use a formula. The principal here is 550 times point or zero point zero six is the rate and then times the, the time here is three years, so times three. Now, if you use a calculator, just use your calculator and multiply 550 times 0 0.06 times three, the answer is $99. 99 is the amount of interest. So if it was for one year, it was $33, just divided by three. But now it is for three years, so it is $99. $550, the interest rate is 6% for three years is $99. The interest is 99. Let's take a look at the next example. This one, it says $6,400. So here we have $6,400. $400 and times 5%. 5% is actually 0 0.05 times two years. Now, if you use a calculator, just multiply 6,400 times 0 0.05 and times two because it's two years. The answer is 640. So it is $640. Next one, $1,500 or 1500 Just write 1500 4% times 0 0.04. Use a calculator and times 7 for 7 years. Just use a calculator. 1500 times 0 0.04 times 7. The answer is $420. $420. That one is, remember, that is just the interest. So if you pay back the amount, you also need to pay the base. So $1,500 plus $420. Let's take a look at the next one. This one is $4,500 times. It is 4.5%. If you use a calculator, just if you want to find it, the uh, the decimal, if you want to turn this one into decimal, you can just put in your calculator 4.5 divided by 100. And the answer is 0 0.045. So that 0 0.045 is right here that you need to multiply but here is six months so it is half year so you need to multiply by 0.5 so or you could find for one year you could put one for this if you put one for that then you find for one year then you can divide it by two but use a calculator 4500 times 0 0.045 times 0.5, the answer is 
one hundred one dollar one hundred one and twenty five cents one hundred one dollar and twenty five cents is for six months so it's just for six months for one year it is twice of it is two hundred two dollars and fifty cents let's take a look at the next one this one again we have 700 times 5 percent is just 0 0.05 and times here 9 months is actually 9 over 12 months so you need to multiply by 9 over 12 9 over 12 if you write it as a decimal is just 75 percent so you can just write instead of that one instead of this you can just put it on your calculator you can put zero uh, this zero point seventy five and the answer is so multiply seven hundred times point zero five times point seventy five and the answer is for seven hundred nine months the interest at five percent is Twenty-six dollars and twenty-five cents. Last one here, twenty-five thousand dollar times six point five percent is actually point zero six five, and it is for four years. So just use a calculator: twenty-five thousand times point zero sixty-five times four. The answer is six thousand and five hundred dollars.